Mohammad Shiraj and the idea of a secular India. Shiraj carrying the Indian flag around the Kaaba and the entire team marching behind him in January 2021 is one of the most enduring picture postcards in the history of Indian cricket. In this one instant, he had ceased to be a Muslim or a Hindu. His religion did not matter. He had been appropriated and consumed by the vision of Indianness, and we all believe in and credit must go to Ajinkya Rahane, Rohit Sharma and the entire team for giving us this moment to cherish. They had demonstrated to one and all their secular credentials and the ideals they believe in. Siraj, more than others, has been celebrated and each team member stood by him for what he achieved, braving all odds. And now that he has risen to the pole position in the ODI rankings, his journey can only get better from here on. Whenever we talk about Indian cricket, the one moment from the Brisbane Test in January 2021 that will forever remain a picture postcard for India was when Siraj was handed over the Indian flag by his teammates and he led the victory parade around the Gaba with thousands of Indian supporters cheering their newfound hero. Here was a young man from Hyderabad who had lost his father but was unable to come back to his family, bringing smiles to a billion faces with his illustrious teammates cheering him on. He wasn't a Muslim or a Hindu. He was Indian. This was the India of our dreams turning into a reality. Not the toxic India that plays out every day on national television. Not the divisive India that plays into the hands of politicians. Not the India deeply divided by privilege and underprivilege. This was an India of hope and an India that dares to dream. Siraj isn't the most eloquent. He need not be. What he is and will be is what our country is all about. Hard work and more hard work with dignity and integrity and such effort does pay off. The number one ranking is proof. Siraj has come back strongly after he was rejected in 2019. In his debut ODI, he gave away 76 runs and went wicketless in Adelaide Oval. Three years later, in his comeback ODI series, Siraj was the peak of the Indian bowlers with six wickets. Last year, the Peso took 24 wickets and 15 ODIs. This year, he has already taken 14 wickets in five matches, taking his tally to 38 wickets from 20 ODIs. Siraj is in his top gear right now. He just cannot do anything wrong at the moment. He is bowling quick with fire in his belly and is quite disciplined at the same time. Not only has Siraj's form over the last 12 months been imperious, but his effort in the ODI series at home earlier this month against Sri Lanka and New Zealand has shown just how much the right arm pesa has improved in recent times. India's bowling coach Parash Mamre challenged Siraj to work on certain aspects of his game last year and that extra training has paid off. As they say, good things indeed happen to good people and good men do come first in the end. Siraj and his ranking is proof.